Hi, this is Rune from SlideHub. I'll give you a short overview of what we um, deployed in 2021 and what we intend to build here in uh, in 22. Um, so let's uh, let's get right into it. First up is the inspiration colors that we have created, which allow you to determine the colors and also the fonts on all of the slides from the inspiration slides that you insert into your presentation. Here you can see I've set up a couple of different options. This is 100% customizable based on, on your preferences. You can also see the font here. So since the primary colors here are red, if I then insert a slide, it's gonna be very red. You can choose how, uh, how the coloring should be and that's gonna uh, allow you to uh, automate some of the manual coloring that you would do otherwise. Very cool feature. Um, we've also introduced the Teams functionality. So if you go into your company library here and you have created some Teams, you can see I have a team here with some slides that are uh, only available to members of the implementation team in this case. This uh, allows you to create different uh, client teams uh, with confidential information. It could also be that you have some internal documents that only certain people should be uh, allowed to, to see. So you have the opportunity to create uh, Chinese walls uh, using the, uh, the, the team's uh, functionality. If I go back to the inspiration slides here, besides the automatic color adjustment and, and font adjustment, you can see that I can toggle between 69, so widescreen, but also 4.3, the traditional format, which can still be used if you're printing uh, material and so forth. Um, all of uh, the slides are available in both formats, so we have uh, formatted more than a thousand slides to make it uh, fit the widescreen uh, format. Next up is the um, flags. So if I'm doing some sort of comparison and I need to compare Sweden to Denmark and Norway, then I can just search the search the flags here and I get the, um, the same style. Um, there we go. Um, so I can I can use that consistently the same style across the the presentation. Um, and everybody will be using, using the same style, driving up the, the consistency. Um, the personal slide vault here, you can click on that, and then I have access to my personal slides. And you can see, I can also set up categories here, and I can also provide tags to the different slides if I manage slides up here in the right-hand corner. And if you're not an, an admin for your company library, this is uh, an identical view, or more or less, of uh, what you can see if you're an admin uh, administrator of your company library as well. So you can go in here, create categories, add slides, um, this is where you would add the slides, um, and also add tags and so forth. So a uh, very cool feature that we hope will, will help uh, companies uh, drive even more uh, slides into the company library so it grows uh, over time. If I go back into the company library here, you can see that we have added um, better search. So we don't have any funnel slides in the SlideHub uh, or Nordic Consulting demo um, library then SlideHub is going to provide us with some uh, some alternatives from other asset classes. So inspiration slides, uh, icons, and even images. So we will aim to give you some sort of result uh, regardless if you have a company slides or, or not. Um, then we have added the uh, company icons as well. So if I go down here in the right-hand corner, company icons, you can see that these are custom icons that we have added. Um, Functionality is the same way you can create categories and put these uh, icons into and also give them tags so you can search uh, in the search bar up here. Um, very cool uh, cool feature. As long as, as they're in SVG format, uh, you're good to uh, to go. Finally, we've added the, the opportunity to, to add branding to the add-in so you can put in your logo here and also up here. All the features that we have uh, built here in, in 2021, I'm all this... Uh, based on, on feedback and feature requests from, from clients. We intend to, to do that in 2022 as well. Um, I'll run through some of the, the major uh, features now, but if there's anything that you, you believe we should uh, do differently or have other features you would like to see, just, uh, just write me directly and I'll be happy to, uh, to discuss and, and bring it up in our uh, product development uh, meetings. So we definitely want to improve uh, adding or contributing slides to the company library. So you get an experience somewhat similar to this where we have this bar and you just mark the, you can select uh, based on the slides you have in PowerPoint, if they should be uploaded or not. And also if it's uh, for the company library, your personal vault, and then you're basically done. So a lot easier and faster, hopefully that can contribute to uh, to even more slides in, in the company library. Uh, overall, we're gonna improve the um, experience here when you're managing for your presentations, for example, we're gonna make that easier. So here you can see we have a presentation. If I click on view slides, you can see them all. We're gonna 
do some minor tweaking there to to improve that um and also um yeah that, that's mainly it for for the compound library but overall making making some tweaks to to increase the the experience um then we're gonna fine-tune and improve uh, some of the core end, fun end user functionality. So overall speed, when you select uh, multiple slides, for example, here, and you insert them, um, we're going to improve the speed there. Um, and also uh, do a, a fully browser-based version of the add-in. So if for whatever reason you don't have access to the add-in in the PowerPoint, you'll be able to access the slides via, via an, a regular internet browser. Um, in the uh, personal vault, we're going to launch the personal vault uh, version 2.0, where you can grant access to other team members so they can take a look into your vault and download some of your uh, your best slides. Um, and finally, and a feature I'm really excited about is the inspiration slides uh, version 2.0, where if you have four bullet points, um, the inspiration slides will basically uh, recommend uh, graphical structures based on the content that you have on the slide. So it's gonna definitely be towards the end of the year, but that's a really cool feature that we that we aim to build. If you have any input on this, um, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, I hope that both the previous features, but also the new features will help you uh, build better presentations faster. Thanks for your time.